today we are going to start a new chapter about the body fluids and kidneys the body fluids are very closely related with the uh, kidneys because the kidneys uh, normally maintain the amount of fluid and electrolyte balance in the body along with a few other important systems now the first and most important topic we are going to discuss is the normal daily intake the normal daily fluid intake and output or daily intake and daily loss of fluid now the the human body must maintain a normal amount of fluid the human body must maintain all the systems and especially the kidney will basically try to maintain a fixed amount of volume of blood in different circumstances in normal circumstances and in exercise and exertion the body will try to maintain the the amount of fluid and the amount of electrolytes now for this purpose the amount of fluid taken in must be equal to the amount of uh, fluid taken out or the daily intake should be equal to the daily loss now if there is any increase or decrease the, the kidneys and the other systems will basically try to uh, manipulate those changes and will help to maintain homeostasis maintain homeostasis the purpose is to maintain homeostasis or similar condition the body must operate in similar and optimal condition now let's start basically the amount of daily fluid intake or the daily intake basically includes two important components that is the fluid ingested the fluid ingested directly the amount of fluid taken indirectly in the form of water tea coffee juices or any other amount thing consumed directly that is around 2100 ml per day that is around 2100 ml per day and then the amount of fluid that is basically made from oxidation of carbohydrates the water that is generated due to the uh, oxidation or the breakdown of the carbohydrates that is around 2200 ml per day so the total intake or the fluid intake per day is around 22300 ml per day or 2.3 liters per day this is the daily intake now the daily loss the daily loss that the the amount of fluid that the body lose through different ways they normally include they normally include um the insensible loss the loss the insensible loss from the skin now this insensible loss is not due to the loss of sweating fluid is lost from the skin fluid is lost from the surface of the skin even in absence of sweat pores in even in those people who do not have sweat pores in those people even in those uh, people there is insensible loss from skin and that is around 350 ml per day now the insensible loss of fluid from the lungs is also around 350 ml per day now when the a patient is breathing in and breathing out some water goes out with the air some go- water goes out with the air because uh, there is some kind of moisture in the air and that goes out of the body now that moisture that amount of moisture the amount of fluid that goes outside the body may vary according to the temperature in hot and cold weather it may be different but normally it is around 350 ml per day now the fluid lost per day in sweat is around 100 ml per day it is around 100 ml per day but is in severe intense exertion it may be as high as 5 liters or in summers the amount of fluid lost through sweating may be as high as 5000 ml or 5 liters but on that very day there the, the fluid ingested will also be very much high so normally the fluid loss through sweat is around 100 ml per day and the insensible loss from skin these are two different conditions so the insensible loss is 350 ml from the skin and the insensible loss from the lungs is also around 350 ml the loss from the sweat normally is 100 ml but in severe in the exertion in severe exertion it may be as high as 5 liters then the amount of fluid loss in feces or the fluid loss in feces is around 100 ml per day and the fluid in a normal patient the the largest amount of fluid normally is lost in urine and that is around 1400 ml per day but if in exercise in exertion the urine may decrease as much as 500 ml per day or even lower than this now these are the two conditions basically the the fluid loss through sweating in may increase in exercise then the fluid loss in urine through the kidneys will decrease in exercise now the body this is the purpose of this is basically the function of kidneys this is the basically the function of kidneys to detect the amount of fluid and by by the concentration of sodium potassium chloride the kidneys can 
increase or decrease the urine output and is the amount is the fluid going out of the body through sweat increases the fluid going out through urine with the help of kidneys will decrease so the body will basically normally maintain a balance between the intake and output normally 2300 ml of fluid will be taken in or it will be somehow uh, produced because 2100 ml is taken in 200 is produced from the oxidation and 20 total of 2300 ml per day is taken in in total of 2300 ml per day is lost in a normal patient in a normal patient if the conditions are not normal if the conditions are not normal for example there is some problem in the kidney then these uh, calculations will not be like this there will be some changes similarly if a person is doing exercise if a person is doing exercise or the weather is very much hot then these conditions uh, those conditions will basically change the amount of fluid lost through different uh, uh, through different methods but normally they will exactly match each other in normal circumstances in normal patients so this is basically the first lecture and this is basically about the intake and output of the uh, normal uh, fluid or the daily intake and daily loss of fluid thanks a lot for watching the video